thesmartlocal.com. <laughs> Oh my god, you go inside. I'm Xenia. Welcome back to another episode of Hired or Fired. In this episode, I will be managing a nature reserve for a day. I love nature, but I don't know much about nature. When I see the trees, they look agaga the same. When I see animals, I categorize them into two species, cute or not cute. So let alone knowing what to do. I'm actually not too nervous. I'm quite chill. Unless I bump into a monkey later, that will be a different story. Hi, I'm Maxine and I'm a Conservation Manager with the National Parks Board. As a Conservation Manager, I take care of the nature parks and nature reserves, which are core habitats that help in building Singapore's ecological resilience. One of the more important things that we do is that we also give a voice to our animals to bring about greater understanding of them, which actually reduces fear and conflict. So what is the most enjoyable and interesting part of your job? Huh, I get to see wildlife at work. These are things like pangolins, kalugos, mouse deer and even the Raffles Banded Langer. Hi, I'm Xenia. Hi, I'm Maxine. I'm a conservation manager at Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what will I be doing today? Today, we'll be doing four tasks. The first, we'll be setting up a camera trap. Secondly, we'll be conducting tree inspections. Thirdly, we will be planting a tree. And the last thing we will be doing is we'll be pulling out invasive species from the forest. For what? Hmm, you'll see later. Oh my god, I'm scared! Okay! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes! Okay, this is for you. Let's get changed. See my pants, my pants nice. Whoa! <laughs> So now we'll be going to set up a camera trap to monitor wildlife. Ooh. But first, you have to conquer Bukit Timah Hill. Carrying this? So oh, what, this is quite heavy. what we have inside are actually camera traps. Okay, inside got food or not? Will the monkeys come? Don't worry. Okay, they know lah. It's not a plastic bag. If they see this logo, the monkey will be scared. Or not? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! They are so small. Hey, it's not a monkey, it's monkeys. They will come to you. They will ignore me if I ignore them. Okay, I also ignore them. I'm not looking, ah. Uh. I'm not looking. Oh no, oh no, I contact, I contact, I contact really good. Hey, hurry, 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 go, 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 go. Okay, Xenia, so you've climbed Bukit Timah Hill yes. and we're here to do your first task. What we have here, a camera trap. I'm gonna put the camera inside, dude. This is the camera. Huh? What it does is that it detects movement. Oh. And once it detects movement, it will take either a photo or a video according to the settings you have set. So we'll put in the SD card first. Mm. Then we'll put in the eight batteries. Yeah. What we want is both camera and video. Oh. Then you have this red light. After it stops blinking, that's how you know it's ready. Oh. So when something moves in front of it, it will start taking a photo. So you're taking a selfie now. <laughs> After this, you have to lace it through the two holes. It's like a fanny pack, the tree wearing a fanny pack. Pull the cable as tight as you can. Okay. Then you turn the key and take it out. So we have all these extra cable wrapped it around the tree. That's it. And you have a neat camera trap. Nice. So before we head into site, try not to step on anything green. Oh! Because green usually means alive. Right, okay, okay. <laughs> and even though it might look very small, mm. some of our trees and shrubs can actually take a very long time to grow to that height. Oh. Up to five years. Ah. Okay, Xenia, we're here. We're gonna set the camera trap on this tree. Facing this trail so that we can find out what animals are walking along here. Tiger. This one, Maxine. Yeah, that branch is dead so we can... We can this one is your on put one, right? Your put one! No! I know you very well. Put some fake uh, dead... Uh, what is this called? Branch? Okay, so first we need to open and put the SD card. Okay, see the, the red, red light? light is going. Yay! It's ready! We can take a selfie. Yeah. You can take sound or not? Yeah, it has sound oh. as well. Wow, this <laughs> camera is amazing eh! Hi! <laughs> Hi, can you see us? <laughs> So now we have it on camera mode. Yeah. And you want to take a picture so that we see what the camera sees. It's her. It's Maxine. Maxine has been using this trail 
<laughs> we found, we found the answer. So have you been setting this kind of CCTVs for wildlife for very long? We've always been using camera traps. But recently, we have implemented a more targeted species recovery plans. And hopefully in the next 10 years, we can discover more wildlife in Singapore. Mm. Eh, here got one. Bark. New one. <laughs> Homo sapien. <laughs> So for your next task, we will be doing a tree inspection, which is a core part of a conservation manager's job. It's like check up like that lah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we inspect trees that have a target. What this means is the trail that we are on, a car park, mm. a building, mm. or a shelter in a park. Mm. We want to inspect it to make all of these things safe. Here we have the leaves from four different species of trees. Mm. I have written the species names here. I would like you to have a look at the canopy of the tree. Canopy means what? Leaves. Canopy? Yes, the leaves, correct. <laughs> okay. And I want you to determine which species of tree you are looking at. Okay. It's basically a matching game, lah. Correct. Okay. Can I'm very good at this. If you can't see the leaves, we have a binoculars ready for you. <gasps> so fun! Okay. Thank you. Hang on. Don't we still have. have okay. <laughs> we still have <laughs> double cover. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> okay, there we go. Mm. We are now at this tree that we are going to inspect. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that part out. Nope. Can you tell me which species we are looking at now? What's the difference yeah, between <laughs> all these? Just small and big, no? Actually, what's the name of this tree? That's what you're going to find out? Yeah, I was trying to trick you. <laughs> Twelve. Oh my god. I think I can see uh, this tree block. <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> see this colour? And the trunk colour? Sama sama. Is Diera costulata. Diera costulata is the Jalutong tree and it can grow up to 80 meters tall. Oh, so it's not you lah. <laughs> I really cannot see. As in, I'm pointing there already, but cannot be a bit lasik eh. <laughs> it's this one. Shore leprosula. Shoria leprosula. Actually, that's, that's correct. Yay! That's very good. <laughs> Yay! Well done. Uh, so what, what, what were you comparing that you determined it was the Shoria? It isn't so sharp okay. and flat. Okay. It was more rounder. Great, excellent. So one of the leaves that I chose, which thankfully you did not, mm. is actually called the Pomitia pinata. Mm. This is not a leaf of the tree. Oh. This is a leaflet. One leaf with many leaflets on it. So cool and I really never knew that. Do you all know? No, I thought leaflet is the one you give up. Yeah, like the pamphlet, right? Oh my god, I don't dare say because I thought I'm dumb. <laughs> so this is a 10 meter measuring tape. We are going to measure the girth of okay. our Shoria leprosula. Mm. Okay, how do I do this? I go around? Yep. Oh, uh, go where? <laughs> oh my god, god, what is it? I just find it so okay? hard. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Can you tell me the girth of this tree? 34.5 34.5 what? Meters 34.5 meters Yeah 34.5 meters How tall is our tree? 3.45 meters 3.45 meters okay. Cannot be, cannot be I am 1.6 eh This wrap around, pull up straight Cannot be taller than me right? Because from the zero it starts from here and it goes around right? Oh so 2.345 Yes this never is use, the toughest you, part eh. You never use measuring tape before is it? God, I never <laughs> use this kind eh. My like they will tell me. <laughs> is Not it it will easy. speak to you is it? No. no. <laughs> you have it's measured 2.3 2. 2. 3 meters. <laughs> What we just did is actually a first level tree inspection. There are actually many more tools that can be used. For example, we also can use sound. You know, like how you buy a watermelon at yes. a supermarket. Yeah, yep. really? So can I try? <laughs> like use your we hand. We don't have. Um. Can you hear anything? Cannot. <laughs> I think that's why you need a melon. This is going to be your chanko. Mm. And especially now, we are trying to involve the community in planting one million trees Wow! across Singapore over the next 10 years. <gasps> and I'm planting one! <laughs> Yay! Before you swing, yeah. you have to make sure nobody is around you. So like, okay. Cool, so. okay. <laughs> and then you will dig. Oh, okay. And then scrape up. 
when you are done with the chanko, mm. you always have to make sure that the blade is facing down. down. Then after that, we will take secateurs. This is called secateurs. Secateurs, yeah. So Not these scissors or no. pliers. So these are special, <laughs> special scissors. Cut the base all around so that we can take out the plastic. So you should always hold the root ball or this bag. Let's get you, little boy, in okay. Mother Nature. Actually, I'm all about shortcuts in life. I saw that here got <laughs> almost like a mini hole, you see? Xenia, actually, that was the second half of the challenge. If you failed to dig your own hole, there's a hole we've already pre up for you. What? Do you feel like it's hot in here? Yeah, it's very humid. I feel there's, a lot of fire <laughs> in my heart that people think that I can't do the job. Eh. I'm not approved to y'all. Okay, Kev. So, <laughs> how to start? Okay. <laughs> you can switch your arm to see which one you're more comfortable with. Mm -hmm. mm, yep. Oh, I did not aim there. <laughs> I was aiming here. It's the fourth correct. It's not correct. Ah? Mm. <laughs> I thought it looked quite cool. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Got worm! <laughs> you see the worm is moving. How about then the worm how? Okay, wow. okay worm. so you're wearing gloves, you can move the worm and then before you finish planting the tree, after you, Yep, and we'll put him back. <laughs> so after you've planted a tree, the very last thing to do is to make sure it has sufficient water. That's great, I think that's enough water. Okay, done! So do you want to plant the second tree? Don't need that. <laughs> So how do you think I did? I think you did great. Great only. <laughs> you contributed to our one million trees movement. Yes, one out of one million down. So Xenia, for this task, we will be removing invasive species. Mm. What I have here is the Zanzibar yam. This species is originally from Africa. This grows by tubers. Primary school, secondary Primary school. school fail. <laughs> so why is it important to remove this? As you can see from the canopy up there, it mm. actually can grow quite thick. This would shade out our trees and without sunlight, our trees would right. eventually die. Yeah. Correct. Dig for those tubers. What we want is to get rid of them. And you can also cut the vines with secateurs. Mm. You of course have to put them into bags and later on you have to carry it out. Mm. Otherwise, they would just start growing again. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> I'm ready! So I just pull? Yeah, just pull. There we go. Good job. Woo! <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. See this? Yeah. This Fruit. is what we want to get rid of. Oh. Because another plant will start growing from this. So we'll Whoa. throw it in there. It looks like mini brinjo. Why don't we try and follow a vine now? And you can use the mini chanko to dig out the tuber. Okay. Oh my god, I just anyhow one handful, you see got how many already. So that's why invasive species management is actually very labour intensive. Mm. Oh, there's another animal. So perfect eh, can you see the shell? It's not come out from Maple Story. <laughs> <laughs> this is a magical feeling. <laughs> what I would like to see you dig up is yeah. actually we've had our volunteers dig up large tubers before. Okay. Up to 1 to 2 kg. I'm going to be better Let's than Let's see them. if we can find one. Yeah, I'm going to dig out a 5 kg one. Somebody oh. take this, please. <laughs> can you oh, feel so it? Big. Ah, there we go. So that's what I mean when they say it looks like a potato. Yeah. So you can see there are roots growing out from it. So many from one. Is this 1 kg? Hmm. <laughs> I think this one 400 grams. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it. Oh! Eee! Why is it like that? Do you think that was 1kg? <laughs> no eh. But that was definitely the biggest one so far. Oh, this is so fun. I can do this all day eh. Okay, then you do alone lah. Hey! Mm. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, did go inside? Oh, oh. Ants? Ah. Oh! No, uh, there. Ah. Okay. <sighs> that was the most intense. Then take care of my life. <laughs> pull, Zina, pull. Like your life depends on it. <laughs> oh my god! This is definitely 3 kg. Your, this head, is my huh? hand, eh? <laughs> So like I mentioned, invasive species management and removal is really a very big team effort. Yes. So 
How about we get everyone to join us? Yes! Oh my god, I can okay. share gloves with you all. <laughs> <laughs> it's really very fun. Come. Okay. Come on, everyone. Wow. Holy. Now this is huge. <sighs> you just put two eyes in the mouth. <laughs> Look like Zaki. Eh? <laughs> so fun, eh? You know, I think this would really release some tension. It's so rewarding when you find something so big. It's really a very good team bonding activity. Can this can? I am done with all four job scopes today and I must say it's pretty taxing to manage a nature reserve because there's so much maintenance work to keep nature, nature. No joke, it was tiring but what kept me going was the goals that MPAX has. So for example, growing a million trees all over Singapore in the next 10 years or just plucking out invasive species so that we can grow more trees. I legit couldn't stop plucking out all the invasive species, you know. It was surprisingly so therapeutic and you see ah, everyone grow one tree, this goal doesn't seem too far away, right? All in all, I think I did okay. The manual work part, I tried my best but when it comes to knowledge, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So Xenia, mm. we've, we're done with all four tasks. How do you feel? Good, but tired. I have one more question for you. Okay. How do you think all four tasks link together? So you have to eradicate the invasive species so that you can grow more trees and then the third one would be um 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 what's the third one? Tree inspection. Yeah. <laughs> then once you grow the tree, you need to make sure that they are doing okay so that the trails are safe for mm -hmm. everyone. And then the camera setup is also to kind of make sure that the wildlife are doing okay. So so that you can I'm just smoking through at this point. I Actually, don't know the last correct. one. Oh, is it? Really? Yes. Okay. So you were very enthusiastic, especially with the invasive species. Species. species oh, but then I'm a perfectionist. All of these efforts are actually part of our larger vision to make Singapore our city in nature. Mm. Do you know what city in nature is? Yes. Do you it know what it. garden city is? Yes, city <laughs> means still got HDB. Garden means also got greenery. <laughs> <laughs> so previously, Singapore was known as the garden city. Mm. And now we're moving towards the city in nature, whereby a city can be harmoniously living together with nature. So now, it boils down to the most important question for every episode. <laughs> and I would need you to be honest. Okay. You see, you ask me to respect the monkeys, you must respect me also with honesty. Okay? Will you hire or fire me? Go! Hire! Oh my god, I'm fired! <laughs> Why? No, because I feel like you need a lot of knowledge. Just thinking about my introduction, saying that I categorize animals into two main species, cute or not cute, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> as long as you have the interest mm. and the willingness to learn, actually anyone is welcome to join us. Oh. <laughs> so again, it's about spreading our knowledge so that there is less fear and conflict mm. between animals and us. Mm, I agree, 100%. You see now, yeah. if a monkey sits here, I'll be best friend with the monkey. Because I'm not scared, now I understand them a bit better. Yeah, just don't feed them. Okay, I, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested in volunteering with MParks or you want to find out more on how to help Singapore to become a city in nature, check out the links below. Thank you for watching yet another episode of Hired or Fired. If you like this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, ring our notification bell and watch our other videos over there. And I'll see you next time. Bye!